So now we come to the time at the end of the show where we like to give just our opinion or thought on something that is on our hearts or something we may have read or whatever the case may be. So this is our final segment of every show. We call this One Last Thought. All right. So let us start. We'll start at the bottom. Not the bottom, but you know what I'm saying, like the bottom in terms of the screen of where we are. Uh, Tina, we'll start with you. You're the you're the newcomer to our group. How give give us one last thought for this week. Normally I like to make it something kind of nice and everything, but I'm gonna I'm gonna speak my mind about my game against the Raiders because everybody seems to think that just having Jimmy G come and everything, that the Raiders <laughs> are gonna be all so great and all this stuff. I have a couple of things for you. One, Javante. Perrine and McLaughlin. Okay. Those are our running backs now. Not there before. Two, the Raiders defense, once you get past Crosby, isn't any good. <laughs> and on the offense, once you get past Josh and Devontae, not that good either. I don't care about Renfro. I don't care about Hooper. They're not that they're not as good as Waller was. So, right, true. True. So that being said, it's going to be a toss up, and whoever has the last thing is going to be it. But me and the Raiders are going to be battling for the bottom of the barrel. So this is going to be a fun year for me. Oh, and also, no, I mean, Jimmy G, yeah. he's no different than Carr. Okay. Okay. Carr okay. didn't win in the playoffs because he didn't have a defense either. <laughs> All right, like I said, we I, I love it. I love I love a good hot take, and I, I I am looking forward to this. Like I said, we get your Not Broncos in week three. <laughs> That's okay. Like I said, we get your Broncos in week three. We'll see where we both are at that point, because that'll tell a lot about how our season's going to go. I'm sure. Uh, Mr. Handy, Mr. Steak and Potato off the carpet. There. What uh? What is your one last thought for this week, my friend? I uh, I was just. You said hot cakes. I thought you said hot cakes. Oh, no, no I said hot cake. No, no hot cake. I put that away. I just I got food on the brain. I'm not hungry. Um, um, what is uh, I I would take um, uh, I I take I take Wacky and Anthony speak for six hundred dollars right now, Alex. Um, <laughs> what do I have this week? Um, take 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 care of yourself. Um, as as best you possibly can. Um, from a physical standpoint, uh, Delilah, I know I see you post a lot of pictures where you know, gym time, you know, you got your Rosie the Riveter pose going on, with showing off. Your <laughs> like Look, this is this is this is Delilah right here, and the thing she got the phone right here, and she's smiling in the camera. But uh, make sure you try and take care of yourself. I, 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 I have been fighting. Um, Let's see. The wife and I have been married now for, let's see, we got married in 2011. Right after we got married, um, I went to the doctor for the first time in God knows when. Okay. And the nurse came in to take my vitals, you know, blood pressure, all that stuff. Hooked me up to the, hooked me up to the machine. The thing beat. She went to look at the numbers and she said, you know what? I'm going to take this again. And I was like, what's wrong? Something wrong with the machine? She said, I'm not sure. I just want to check it out. Now, my Negro Spidey senses start tingling because I was like, uh, I saw her face. There's something wrong. So she started taking my blood pressure again. She went out the room. She came back with the doctor. The doctor gave me um, two two baby aspirin and a nitro pill and brought the crash cart. And now I'm scared. She said, Mr. Handy, your blood pressure is so high. We believe you're having a stroke right now. Mind you, I am 44. I'm not even 41. I'm not just over 40 years old at this point. I've been battling my blood pressure since then, um, but I've started eating better. Minus the carpet. I mean, the carpet steak is good for you because the carpet's got fiber in it. Um, I've been eating better. I've been exercising. Been you know going to the gym, that kind of stuff. I went for my checkup with the doctor the other day for the first time, and God knows when my blood pressure is within normal limits. My pulse is within normal limits. He said my kidney function and my liver function look great. Um, I am currently down. About 35, 40 pounds from where I was at my heaviest during COVID. I'm 
I mean, I'm not ready to run marathons or anything like, but I'm feeling a lot better. And then my reason the the why behind that is, is that on my father's side of the family, my grandfather had two strokes and the third one killed him. My grandmother had a huge stroke and was ne and never recuperated. She was like that until she passed. She passed away when I was very young. Both of my father's sisters and his brother died from stroke related uh, complications and six, seven years ago, my father had a stroke and is lying in a hospital bed right now. I am trying to break that dog on. I do not want to have a. I do not want to have a stroke. I don't want my wife to have to take care of me. Um, I don't. I don't want my kids to. You know, I, I love being able to go out in the yard and run around and play with the dog. I don't want anybody to have to take care of me. Uh, so make sure you. I said all of that to say I joke around a lot, but please make sure that you take care of yourself because you only get one life like that soap opera. You get one life and that's it. And, you know, it, it's, 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 just, it's a hard thing. I've, I've seen it firsthand and it's a very difficult thing when they're, you're used to being able to do things for yourself. You can't do them for yourself anymore. So if not for you, for the people you care about, make sure you take as good a care of yourself as you possibly can. And that that is uh, I'm not normally I'm not normally uber serious when we do these, but that that's that one's been on me for a long time. So y'all have a good evening. I'm gonna turn this over to whoever Nick is gonna point at next to say talk. <laughs> no, I, but th honestly, uh, thank you for that, Handy. Uh, seriously, because I know that that is important to a lot of people, and I you know I myself you know I've had my struggles with weight, and I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, Delilah, we're gonna go ahead and go with you then. Uh, give us your one last thought for this week. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep it short. Football's back, y'all. That's it. Like, good day. The NFL's back. I mean, I do watch other sports, you know, but honestly, you know, NFL's, like, up there for me. So I'm just excited. I know it feels like in Chicago it's, like, 100 degrees, so it feels like fall. But still, NFL tells me fall. Fall's, like, one of my favorite seasons. Sweater season, right? Just enjoy the fall smell. Stop picking at people who like pumpkin spice, all right? Just <laughs> let, people, let people enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, oh, pumpkin spice season is already a fall. Come on. I, just, I, see people, I see people make fun of and it's like, why are they doing their, Are they bothering you? All right, then go upon your day. But uh, anyway, but yes, the NFL is back, everybody. Thursday night football is here in a few days. We're going to have a good time. I can't wait to actually deep dive once the games actually start you know yeah. deep dive into those games and stuff and bring some fun stuff i'm glad to be back with my co-host so i'm excited for another season of the round table i'm glad that anthony stuck with us tina welcome back full time with us i'm excited to learn more about what you teach us about the law when it comes to the nfl and that kind of stuff so thanks everybody yep yeah, no thank you delilah we appreciate that again Start of season four for you and I. So, uh, yeah, we're having some fun. Um, kind of, you know, it's funny because Anthony talked about that. And, you know, you know, I, I, people know, like, my friends, and I, need, I consider these people my friends. We have talked. I finally uh, had recently had the opportunity to meet Tina in person uh, while she was attending the Beyonce concert that I was working at. So that was fun. Uh, you know, Beyonce came out in a tank, came out on a horse. She did all kind of stuff. But it was a uh, fun Fun evening for everyone. Uh, but, yeah, Handy talked about it. And, again, some of you know this past year I turned 50 uh, and really had to take a long, hard look in the mirror uh, as Anthony was talking about, you know, you know, health is such an important thing. You do get one life. And I've battled my weight a long time. Um, and it just it got to a point where I, I, I had to make a decision on what I was going to do because I simply could have just lived the rest of my life the way that I was and – whatever happened could have happened, but in really reflecting on everything. And I think thinking about, you know, the fact that I have nieces and great nieces and my parents are, you know, for all intents and purposes, still very young. You know, my mom is 68. My dad will be 70 in two weeks. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot, a lot to live for a lot, a lot to be around for. And, you know, I, I'm happy to report that since November of 2022, uh, to this current day, I have lost 62 pounds. Uh, so I went from 467 to 405 uh, in, this, in the matter of those months. Uh, so, yeah, I, you know, I got a new – I got a kind of a promotion. I got a new position at my job, so I've been working a lot. 
the schedule has kind of helped with keeping me regimented and regulated on what I'm doing. So I'm happy for that. So I just, you know, I, I really just wanted for like the one last thought, I really just wanted to kind of talk about, uh, you know, gratitude, you know, just being happy with where I'm at, at in my life. I'm working on the things I need to work on. Uh, I'm, you know, my job is good. Uh, the weight loss is good. Uh, and I'm absolutely happy to be back doing this with you guys. I mean, I've always loved talking football. So this setting especially uh, makes me extremely happy. Uh, I'm glad you guys were all able to, you know, to come back and join us again for another season of the Roundtable. Seriously, appreciate everybody I saw in the comments today from Scott to Sean to Andrew to Ben to Johnny. Uh, who did I miss? I hope I didn't miss anyone. If I did, I'm very sorry. But thank you guys all for commenting. Thank you guys all for watching. I truly appreciate you guys. I know we all do. You know, we try to entertain you and give you the, the knowledge as well. So we hope that we have done that today for you, this premiere episode of season four of the Roundtable. So, yes, every week we'll be here, guys. Every Tuesday, 730 Central, you will find these four lovely faces, and we will do our best to give you the knowledge and entertain you as well.